In today's video, we're opening up a first edition Legend of Blue Eyes Heavy Pack. What's up guys, we're back with another insane Yu-Gi-Oh! opening video. In this video, as you guys saw, I'm gonna be opening up a first edition Legend of Blue Eyes heavy pack. Wow, that's pretty exciting, right? I mean, a heavy first edition Legend of Blue Eyes pack. Well, it doesn't end there. But before that, we do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Dark Paladin from Duel Master's Guide. That's a secret rare. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know down below what you think about this video. There's some stuff coming up that I'm going to tell you that's pretty exciting. Have you ever wanted some first edition Metal Raiders cards in your collection? Well, I have good news. Thursday, June 15th, I will be breaking a first edition Metal Raiders box live on whatnot. Each pack will be sold live, so you'll have a chance to buy a pack, get all the cards pulled inside, maybe even the Gate Guardian. Simply click my link down below. You get $15 for free on your first purchase, so you could get $15 off your pack. Go into the app, search my name, Ruxon34, find my live show for this June 15th, and bookmark it. This auction will consist not only of the first edition Metal Raiders box, but we'll also have some amazing things on the Buy It Now tab, as well as some insane giveaways. So if you guys want to participate in this awesome Metal Raiders box break, make sure to check out my live stream on the 15th, 5 p.m. Central. I hope to see you guys there. I don't have just one Legend of Blue Eyes pack. I have 20 first edition Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon packs. So these are not all heavy. These are unweighed at the moment, but fortunately for me, I am able to scale these. Now I haven't done a lot of scaling the last few years of my channel, but when it comes to really crazy stuff like Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon and, and loose packs, you know, they can be a little bit you know sketchy to buy loose packs. You never know if you're gonna get something or if you're not. And when the packs cost like a thousand dollars each, you probably want to find out if they have hollows inside. So one way to do that would be open all 20 packs here, but I'm not rich, so we're not doing that all in one video. Instead, I'm going to weigh these packs and we're going to be opening up the heavy packs, not all in this video. We're going to open one though, so get excited about that. And the light packs will be for sale to you guys. With the knowledge they are light, you're probably not going to get a foil. You should not open them if you buy them. You could grade them. You could keep them in your collection as a light pack, you know, just a sealed Legend of Blue Eyes pack, which is pretty cool. But I will be selling these not as foil packs. So they will not cost you $1,000. They're going to be probably half of that, something like that, versus like a heavy pack will be worth about $2,000 when I weigh that thing out. And all those heavy packs, I'm going to be opening on the channel eventually. So I want to save them, you know, for some special events and stuff like that. But because we're watching this video and I'm too excited not to open one, to be honest, we're going to be opening one. And in the 200 pack, 200K opening, there will be another one. So two of the packs will be open very, very soon. If we're not already at 200K, make sure to subscribe. If we are, I'm probably recording that video very, very soon. So I will be right back. I'm going to come back with however many heavy packs we have. Just pray for me, guys, that it's around like five because that would be great. That'd be probably like normal ratio. If it's more than that, it's going to be awesome. Then there's going to be some borderline ones as well. So we'll probably open some that are close to being heavy and then might not have foils. And then we'll open some that are really heavy and probably do have foils. So before we actually do that, let me explain uh, some of the stuff about the weighing. So back when I did my first Legend of Blue Eyes box opening, you guys have probably seen that video. Second most viewed video on my channel. We pulled that red eyes in the last pack. You remember I had to open all the packs because I was trying to weigh them and it didn't work. The reason why that did not work is those were glossy packs. The difference here is these are 20 wavy first edition packs. So if you don't know the difference, wavy and glossy, there are different card stocks of Legend of Blue Eyes. Some There's an argument about which is first and which is not. It doesn't really matter here. What really matters is the wavy packs are much more easy to scale and it's easy to find the heavy packs. Unlike the glossy I opened and was unable to scale, ended up opening the lightest pack and having an ultra rare inside. So Hopefully what I just said actually comes true and these are scalable and we will be able to figure out what is heavy and hopefully we'll be seeing a foil today. Could be the legendary Blue Eyes White Dragon first edition. All right, I'm back and I weighed the packs out. We have 12 that I'm pretty sure are light. We have eight left. So it's not eight heavies necessarily because it doesn't necessarily work like it doesn't pop up on the scale saying ding, 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 you have a hollow. There's like different weights. So there's three that looked really heavy. So they should, in theory, have a hollow. Hopefully we're right. Then there are two that probably have a hollow. I would say they most likely do. And then there are three that are slightly less than that. So they're kind of iffy. So in theory, we could have eight hollows, but probably three would be the like minimum. And then could be all the way up to eight. So I really don't know. We're going to be opening one of the middle tier ones, not one of the lowest ones because I don't want to pull a rare today because I told you guys to be open a heavy pack and I don't want to open one of the highest ones just yet. So we're going to open a middle tier one. I think that it probably has a hollow. Let's find out together. So I'm super hyped for this. We have the first edition Legend of Blue Eyes pack, but I also threw in some pretty awesome packs 
packs that we're going to be opening up just to get ourselves warmed up because this is a this is a big event guys you know let's not just open one pack even though this could contain the legendary blue eyes white dragon who is like forty thousand dollars if it gets a psa 10 that'd be pretty amazing i would love to have that in my collection okay let's start this off with a ghost from the past one we could pull a ghost rare dark magician how funny would that be just to like not really a buzz kill i mean that like like you know it's we're pulling something we're not trying to get it would definitely not be a buzz kill it'd be insane but it would be funny to take the spotlight away from the legendary blue eyes white dragon pack that we're opening but we did not pull it so no big deal we don't have to worry about that can we get the hungry burger though that'd be pretty cool we have hamburger by the time you guys see this i will have actually pulled the hungry burger i hope i mean could have gone crazy oh wait 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 oh i must have done the pack trick wrong okay not a great start but look i don't care if we pull nothing out of these as long as we pull a foil out of our lob pack that's what we really care about especially if it's a really good foil there are six i was trying to think of this i think i haven't pulled six of the first edition legend of blue eyes foils and they are as follows that's just a rare I don't think I've ever pulled a Celtic Guardian. I think that's the only uh, super rare I've never pulled from Legend of Blue Eyes first edition. Only first ed. I've pulled everything out of, you know, if you count all the prints. But I don't think I've pulled a Celtic Guardian. I've never pulled, of course, the Blue Eyes White Dragon. I mean, we would remember that moment if I had done that. Tiny Spirit. And, okay, just another Ultra. And I have also not pulled uh, Exodia. The only Exodia limb I've pulled is the left leg. I have never pulled anything besides the Exodia head and the left leg. I've never pulled the right arm, the left arm, or the right leg. So. So those are some things that I've not pulled. Giga Giga Gigo. And then I've never pulled the guy, the dragon champion. So wait, there's another. Oh, no, that, that adds up. Yeah, six. So there's six, six foils that I've not pulled. One secret, four ultras and one super. So I want to pull any of those. I mean, even a limb, I'd be happy because like, you know, never pulled it before. Be really cool. And I also need a PSA 10 because I have the, what I have, the right leg and the Exodia head, I believe. So if I had those three, I'd be able to complete the full PSA 10 set, which would be pretty amazing. We have twin long rods, hamburger recipe. Hey, maybe we can pull the hamburger here. Oh, or we can pull the blue eyes. Tune Dragon Secret Rare. Okay, maybe this is bidding well for our LOB first edition pack. All right, that is sick. Metal Raiders up next. Okay, maybe it'll it'll ramp up, you know. We'll start getting some crazy pulls and then we'll open the Legend Blue Eyes pack and finish it off there. I'm super excited for this, guys. Blog Attack, Queen's Double, Paralyzing Potion, Giga Tech Wolf, Tremendous Fire, Soul Release, Share the Pain. We got Grande Moth and uh, the Trent. Okay, Grande Moth's pretty cool. We'll definitely set that aside because, you know, the father of the moth. All right, let's do our Ghost from the Past 2. Our second Ghost from the Past 2. Uh, uh, okay, here we go. One, two. We have a Tinny Spirit, Ghost Trick Mummy, Puppet Queen, Agent of Judgment Saturn, and uh, Elemental Hero, Neos Kluger. All right, Neos, we see ya. Wild Survivors. I thought last time we pulled something, but really I just did the pack trick wrong. Let's see if we can actually pull something this time. Petit Pterodon, True King, Super Soaring, Double Evolution Pill, the Vanquish Soul. That is not something. Okay, Animador and Arcus are cool. Dino stuff, you'd love to see it. IOC, so, so far, I think we've pulled one foil out of these and it was a Secret Rare Blue Eyes tune, so. Quality over quantity, I always say. Curse Seal, the Forbidden Spell, Balloon Lazard, Pinch Hopper. Earth Chant, Robin Zombie, and Ojama, Delta, Hurricane. Ghost from the Past 1, let's pull that Dark Magician. I have not pulled that Ghost Rare Dark Magician in a very long time, and it is a very expensive card, so I would love to pull it again. It usually has those little, like, pecs in the back. I don't even know how to, they're like little dents. It's, it's kind of bad, but, you know, that's just how it goes. Hieratic Seal is a pretty good card. All right, four more packs, then we get into the main attraction, the main event, the pack that we're here for, first edition. Legend of Blue Eyes. We have Jigen Bakudan. We are recording. We want to make sure we're recording when we actually open this pack. Commencement Dance. We have Final Destiny, Sinju, and Liquid Beast. The Beast is liquid. Pharaoh Servant. I don't think we've opened one of these yet. I must have only had one laying around. Okay. Pharaoh Servant. One, two, three. Give us the Jinzo. Infinite Dismissal. Wing Weaver. Keys to Tie. Gifted Mystical Elf. Cold Wave. Time Seal. World Suppression, we have Appropriate and Genzo, no, Flying Kamikiri, Numero Dos. Why does this thing look just like Attack of the Clones? You know, the thing that's trying to like, was it Obi-Wan? Obi-Wan chops it off his lightsaber, you know, the little pincer things. It looks just like one of Flying Kamikiri number two. And those came out around the same time. Interesting. Okay, Metal Raiders, come on. Give us something good. Immortal Thunder, give us that Petite Moth just to bless us going into this pack. So I get the Dark Cloud. Stim Pack. Little Chimera, and I think we got something. Heavy Storm, all right, nice. We got a super rare, I was about to say ultra rare. Heavy Storm, very nice, we'll take that. And we're down to the final two packs. We have Legend of Blue Eyes 25th, the newest Legend of Blue Eyes, and then the absolute oldest Legend of Blue Eyes. Well, 
unless you think a glossy is for i don't know which one came first but you know whatever first edition it doesn't matter about the stupid prints okay here we go except it kind of does hopefully that means that we weighed them right one two three here we go and i want to remind you guys the other 12 light packs are for sale as light but not with foils in them not with foils in them i mean technically i don't really know without opening it but it's probably not a foil okay here we go <laughs> left arm of the forbidden one is that a sign i wouldn't be mad if we pulled a left arm of the forbidden one out here i'm just saying is that a sign ultra rare out of the reprint pack before the ultra rare out of the first edition pack maybe we'll see all right guys here we go palms are sweaty knees weak arms are heavy legend of blue eyes white dragon first edition apparently heavy i don't know we'll find out we'll see if it actually worked <sighs> I'm, I'm nervous i'm not gonna lie this is a two thousand dollar pack if it's a heavy pack just saying two thousand dollars for a Yu-Gi-Oh pack insane we are opening it up here on the channel for you guys so i hope you guys enjoy it make sure to subscribe to the channel for epicness here we go all right we have opened the pack very nicely wavy cards i've never actually opened any before so i think it's four from the back here we go. Never opened any wavy cards myself. We have Basic Insect. Very nice. We have Ray and Timbatura. Very nice. Book of Secret Arts. First edition. Check that thing out. The green is so nice. All right. Some of these, I mean, we want to grade a lot of these comments, so the centering's looking good so far. I'm liking that. We have the Silver Bow and Arrow. I believe that's a short print, actually. That's a nice card. These are slightly warped. I could tell in the pack that they were a little warped. We have the Petite Angel, not the Petite Moth the petite angel okay we're getting close fear is seeking i mean how, how many cards is that that's six cards we have one more common one-eyed shield dragon here we go this is the moment this could be the first edition blue eyes white dragon hopefully it's at least heavy here we go oh it's a flame swordsman super rare let's go oh my goodness and these are not i mean they're a little wavy but they're not like crazy wavy first edition flame swordsman centering looks really good on this card check the back looks pretty nice there is like a little bit of scuffing going on in the middle you can see that well this will definitely be getting sent in to psa wow what a first foil of a pull that's nice flame swordsman is one of the absolute best cards you can pull out of legend of blue eyes that looks insane so it looks like the uh, like middle of the pack uh like level i didn't do the lowest but the middle of pack do seem to have foils that's a good sign that means we have some other heavy packs guys so look forward to the future where we're opening potentially the blue eyes white dragon i hope so or at least some ultras would be awesome secret rares would be crazy i'm super happy with this so far so if you're interested in a light pack i will have some available on my website link will be in the description so go check that out if you guys are interested and thank you guys for watching this was an epic opening Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Mycycle, America Deutscher, Supreme Sage 21, and then a Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.